Three point because Washington State's really not defending him away from that. And they're just getting whatever they want at the basket. It's more difficult to do all this stuff on the road, but Kasunas. High ball screen with the shooter in the corner. Wills. Kasunas. Wow. There's Delaire from Dejan Davis. And early in the season, of course, Washington's big guys who are so talented. Isaac White draws the foul on Ryan. And Stanford has dominated this game. And the Cardinal with three home games to start. Pac-12 play 3-0 for the first time in 15 years. Between these two schools, Carolina went there last year and won. Lost here in Chapel Hill a couple years ago. Team didn't have a full week of practice last week with exams here at UNC. Terriers on a 9-0 run. Hoover gives it up, and it's a dozen unanswered points after the stump three-pointer. If a team wants to shoot threes, what you have to do is make them shoot twos. You try to stay in front, and if somebody drives by, you don't cover them. Inside to Garrison Brooks, who has been converting. Messiah Jones that time inside for Wofford. He's very adept ball handling and passing here from Wofford. Three for Hoover is good and what a time to come alive. If you can't do that it's hard to make up that deficit in the three-point area. So for the second time in three seasons the Wofford Terriers come to Chapel Hill and knock off a top 25 North Carolina squad. In that first half. Miller inside. First turnover for Brandon. Official. Isaiah Long. The game winning three that night. Wild shot from Masood. Magusti the other way. Attacking Shondi Brown. Nice, nicely done. One of three Hurricanes in double figures. Likes and Magusti with 11 apiece. And how about that pass? Their cause with their performance, the free throw line. You know, their, their, uh, their strength, really. Wake in Miami, the victory belongs to the home team. Hurricanes, victorious, 71-54 over Wake Forest. to 31. And here comes Melton on the attack. Reverse layup over Young is good. Randolph waiting for a screen from Desaire instead. Waves it off and drives it. Randolph underneath. Tough shot. Off the glass. No good. Desaire's tip wouldn't go. Rebound Desaire and he puts it in. There it goes to the right wing. Jones puts it on the floor. In on Condit. Wild shot. Got it to go. Yeah, they're making everything. A pass to the right corner. Melton puts it on the floor. Kicks it back out. Moraine throws it out to Reeves for a three. And he got it. Unbelievable. Goes to work on the dribble against Lewis. He tried to poke it away. Over to the right corner. Melton trying to create space against Bolton. Melton, a backup jumper over Cod. It could. A tough and a foul on the play. Count the bucket for Melton. Tries to make it. He misses the rebound to Nixon. Got a fire. Nixon lets it go from three quarters court. It won't go. And Florida A&M gets a big time victory on the road. They beat Iowa State in Hilton Coliseum 70 to 60. Clock situation. Coleman. Two on the clock, Randy way deep, got it! Could be the number one pitch, with rebound by Kai Jones, Coleman, lefty, oh, out of the friendly road. Our 12 versus 10 is just different. Nice vision, Baker to Coleman, Coleman, and one! Set up by the young freshman. Thinks he can be the best offensive big in terms of everything he does that he's coached here. There the glass. <laughs> First one of the 12 play. 1,800 wins now for Texas basketball. They become the 18th Division One program to do that. The penetration. I think the turnovers. They turned the ball over in transition. Belmont, one of the better teams, executing. Uh, they need to cut turnovers and then get. Mitchell can't grab the rebound. It's won by Tyler Scanlon. Here come the Bruins. The three by Bankert. Well, you're right. All starts on the def defensive end with transition defense, and Nick Hopkins nails another three. Too many programs have a plan in place to replace somebody uh, like a legend that Rick Bird was, and came into this one at 20, 
And he's got 30 right now in this game. And also triggering it on the defensive end, forced the turnover, and the runner. You're talking about North Carolina, a top 10 opponent at the time, but with this one right here. The defense in short supply for the Eagles as they fall by 15. Coming in, it made 19 consecutive free throws, and he's three for three on this one. Triple, Josef Frankic dials it up. Is playing with a lot of energy right now inside of three minutes to play here in the first half. Yosef getting in deep, drops it off for Bediako, who lays it in. For Willie, instead it's to Trey Wirtz, free throw line, back to Jalen, fires the three. <laughs> you betcha! Back out to Jalen Williams. This is the most out of sync I've seen the Bronco offense today. It's eight on the timer, DJ Mitchell drives to the basket. Oh, a flush with one hand. Rebounded by Kwani Kwani with one second. And that'll do it. The horn sounds. Final score, Santa Clara 71, Cal 52. And good hustle and work in there by Kennedy. Ahead for Wojcik. Now with it. Gets off to Kennedy. Pull by and goes to the basket. The guy's out of there. He's Rumwig is on the bench. Catalyst. He gives the assist, so scoring. Williamson from downtown. There's an answer. That's an answer. You've got to play good D now. Don't foul. Him in front of you. Pippen Jr. trying to do that with Clemens, but he got by him. Outside, he kicks Hall from downtown. Got it! Takes a look. Williamson called for it. Kept that left foot on the ground. Nearly dragged it. Bounce past the Clemens. Inside! Takes it in strong with a lefty. First points of the game for Matthew Moyer on that last basket for Vandy. Trouble here for the Ramblers. They get a lucky bounce, though, and get it over the timeline. Crumpling now. Pipkins launches for three, and he stuck it! And the save and Lee takes it in, no good. Crumpwig the rebound, and Cameron Crumpwig right there with the rebound gets the triple double. And even with this offensive struggle, still right in it. Jonka, an easy two. Offensive player in conference play, Bowie a three. Northwestern really struggling from beyond the arc. They're just two of 11. Jones all the way to the rim and a pretty finish. Holland. Here's Jones, gets in, fields, a three on the way, and he got it. Hufford had 39 points from their bench on Friday at Georgia Southern. The bench has been active again tonight, and another bench guy, Derek Holland. Carly Jones, 13 points, seven to shoot. Jones, the blow by, and he banks it in. Carly Jones. Elkaz with the three, and Dragon Elkaz. Exactly who they are. Watson will back it out. The three. Rolls again. DJ McDonald is on fire. Huskers have not lost a home season opener since 1980. The first game of the Mo Iba era. As Zion Poland hits a three. Jump pass out to Cabellas with three to shoot. Kai Cabellas inside. Dumps it down low to McRae. Poland. Watson the skip. Open in the corner for three is Dragon Elkaz. They outscore the Huskers 34-19 in the second half after leading by four at the break and coast to a 66-47 win.